Shooting it raw? Yes. Shooting it raw. Uh, so I don't know, should I hop into the photos and do a start? Do you wanna... Yeah, if you want. Yeah, that's fine. This tattoo's not gonna take very long, so if you wanna... Should I rub my... Okay, okay. Well, you... Yeah, so we'll just do it that way. We can start. Cool. So, the first... I don't think the order matters, really. Well, I'll I'll just do it in the order that I got it in. Cool. And then, well, you'll just have to figure it out. Alright. So, the photo is this one here. Yeah. You wanna start with that Yeah, yeah. Okay. That, uh... That's the first tattoo I did on another person. Whoa. And it was on uh, my best friend who we've been friends since like 2001. I always say like our friendship's old enough to drink now. Our friendship's, <laughs> when, when, we're, when we'd been friends for 18 years, I said our friendship's old enough to buy cigarettes. Now our right. friendship's old enough to drink, you know? Which is kind of wild for being someone 27 years old, you know? Like it's not many people my age have had a friend for that long, so. Right. Right. I value our friendship a whole lot, and I did my first tattoo on him. Do, do people in Savannah ago. kill their friends? What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> in uh, a sense, like, why not have friends for a long time? I don't get it. Oh, no, it's, I mean, I guess it's just more like, you know how they say, like, when you make a friend, and, like, I guess it's like more like childhood friends, right, you know what I mean? Right, exactly. Like, you grow out of your childhood friends okay. most of the time, like, right. I speak to maybe two people that I went to high school with, yep. you know what I mean? Yep. He's the only person that I speak to that I went to elementary school with, right, you know what I right, mean? Like right, we've right. been friends since that long, so it's so kind of me, rare to have a friend that old, you know? Yeah. Especially at my age, you know what I mean? Right. Usually someone, with a friend who, with someone who's had a friend for 20 years, they met when they were like 20, and they're right. like 40 now. Right, right. I'm 27, and I've had a friend for 20-something years. Oh, okay. Um, okay, so let me just <laughs> describe the photo. So uh, it's basically a shot of a guy's calf. And it's just a straight up photo. It's not, it's, you know, it wasn't art aesthetically done. It's just a reporting kind of image. Yeah. Uh, the tattoo, it's the first tattoo that you made for your friend. So it's the, the back of his calf, which you shaved. Yes, um, and always let's see. shave him. <laughs> it's basically a, a heart that's been ripped. It's, it's basically, of? it's a skateboard broken in half. Oh! Into, and like put together into the shape of a heart. Yep. With some flowers behind it. Right. It's a, it's a crap tattoo. It was the first one I did. It didn't come out great. It, I didn't put it up there because I thought it was a great tattoo. I put it but up there because, yeah. yeah, it was the first one I ever did and it was on my best friend, you know, so it was kind of, I felt like that was kind of an important oh, thing. Oh, for sure. There. Take us back. Like what, what got you to, into tattooing that you'd think, you know what, this is something that's really pulled me towards it. Like, why? Why, why tattooing? Um, I mean, I was always into art, like as a kid and stuff, like especially like in elementary and middle school um, specifically. I was always like drawing instead of running around during recess and stuff like that. But then like in high school, I kind of got more into like skateboarding and um, playing music and stuff like that. So around here, baby. Yeah, yeah. I got more into like skateboarding and playing music and stuff like that. So I kind of didn't really do a lot of like visual art for a while. Mm -hmm. And then after high school, I like realized how much I hated school. Cause mm -hmm. like I had kind of gotten out of depression for a little while. I'm already out of depression, but I didn't want to die. You know, mm -hmm. I was like, I felt better than I had for a long time. And then as soon as I started college, all those shitty feelings came back. I was oh, like, oh no. yeah, school is definitely not for me. Right. So I quit pretty quickly. I did like a semester of college and I just stopped showing up. Mm -hmm. like, it's funny, like I was doing pretty good in some of those classes, but I just hated it so much. I got like emails from a couple of teachers like, why didn't you show up for your final exam or whatever. And I was like, cause I just don't want to do it anymore. I just, right. Like I had an A in my English class, but I just didn't show up sure. for the final. Sure. I was like, nah, I don't want to do it. I don't. I was, I was having this conversation with somebody uh, about how, yes, how she studies and how she learns. Like she has a uh, read, like a, Fine. Yeah. she has a, like a reading, like a learning disability or reading disorder. Not okay. even like she's just mildly dyslexic. Right. Right. And so her way of learning, just didn't fit a school, or doesn't right. fit a school. Yeah, of course. But she's trying to make herself fit and, and beating herself up about it, mm -hmm. which is a shame. It's interesting that your path led you to, to work. Okay, so where are we right now? What uh, is this so place? Savannah, Georgia, this is Tramp Art Studios. Shop's been here for about three years, a little more, four years, something like that. I'm, I'm not exactly sure, to be honest. Um, but, yeah, it's a, it's a really cool shop here in Savannah, Georgia. Really unique. We don't look like most shops. Mm. 
which is kind of, I like that, you know what I mean? It's a huge space. It's, yeah. It's amazing, like it's really... Yeah, we always get, we always get, uh, holy shit, it's so much bigger on the inside here. Yeah, uh, yeah, I don't yeah. know if you watch Doctor Who, but I always say it's like the TARDIS. Right. Because uh, he's like an alien with a spaceship sure. that's bigger yep. on the inside. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> All right, man, you want to go check that out in the mirror? You can Let see right see, here if you see, want. See. Is that about where you wanted it? Maybe higher. Okay, no problem. Let's see. There's a lot of cock on the on the walls. Yeah, yeah. Why is that? Um, I I I just think it's funny. Like, I, <laughs> I find it hilarious that like you used to get in trouble for drawing dicks on stuff as a kid. Right, right. And now I get paid for it. So. Okay, okay, okay. I love that. It's great. It's yeah, great. and also it's um, I use it kind of like as advertisement. My stickers yep. are just a giant flying dick, mm -hmm. and like it catches people's attention. Like I put them up all over the place. <laughs> you think? And, like I get I get like DMs all the time. Awesome. People who are just walking around downtown Savannah and they just saw a flying dick on the wall and they're like, oh, what the fuck? And they look <laughs> and they see it has an Instagram on it, so they'll tag me on their story. That's great. I get those all the time. I love it. Yeah, it's fun. Okay, so when was the first time you got a tattoo? I was 17. My mom took me, actually. She signed for me. Okay. You can do that down in Florida. Here, they don't allow you to get tattooed with, with or without parental uh, permission until you're 18. But down in South Florida, okay. you, could, uh, you can do it, I think, at 16 with right. your parents' signature. Right. So we did that. I had been asking her for... Uh, I think I asked her and she said, uh, if I wanted the same idea a year from now, then I can get it. Okay. And a year from then, I still wanted the nice. same thing. Nice, nice, nice. So she let me go do it. I did it, and now I want to get it removed, but <laughs> not because it's a bad tattoo. I, th I still think it's a pretty badass tattoo, okay. especially for being like my first tattoo. But unfortunately, I put it like in the middle of my, like not in the middle of my chest, like on my pec. Yeah. And now I want just a big tattoo that goes over my ah, entire chest, okay, so it's okay. just in the yeah, way. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm just trying to get it removed so that I can do a big full chest tattoo. Got it. Remember? So going back to this photo uh, mm -hmm. of your friend's calf, right. you're still friends. Yeah, of course. How does he feel about the, the, the fact that you arted him? He loves it, man. He, uh, he, uh, he's not very good with pain, so I've been trying to get him to get another <laughs> tattoo from me for a while. He has one other one, but it was also from like when I was just starting. Yeah. So it's funny that he's like my best friend, but he only has a couple tattoos from when I first started right, tattooing, right, right. just because he's not good with getting tattooed. Right. It's like, damn it, man, get something good for me. It's all like That's crappy awesome. old tattoos. That's I'm like, come funny. on, man, I've gotten way better. You just get something decent from me now, please. But he's still, he's still scared. So hopefully, so, I'm actually going to be going up to uh, New York. He moved up to New York uh, about a year or two, a year and a half ago, maybe something like that. And um, I'll be going up there at, uh, for the holidays, well, after Christmas for New Year's to yeah. visit him and spend some time up there with him. It's been a minute since we've seen each other. So yeah. I'm excited for that. Do you travel and work a lot? Yeah, that, that's what, um, that was like the, one of the main goals really when I started tattooing was to be able to just like tattoo and just go all over the country. Right. Working, you know? Um, when I started, I apprenticed in, um, in Miami, which is like learning to tattoo. Like I started apprenticing up there or down there. And then the, the, who, who was teaching me, my mentor, uh, was planning on moving to Savannah, Georgia. And I was just gonna stay in Miami and then basically get another mentor after he moved. But then like a few weeks before he moved, he was like, hey man, if you would be interested in like moving also and like continuing to learn from me, that'd be cool, dude. We could like be roommates or whatever. And I was like, yeah, definitely. I didn't have anything holding me down in Miami. So I just said, yeah, fuck it. And moved mm -hmm. and then here we are now. Nice, and how long ago was that? Um, well, okay, so I ha that happened in 2006. 16, okay. I believe I was here for about a year and a half after that. And then the shop that we actually moved to, uh, that we moved here for, um, there was a car dealership next door to them. And uh, they used some shady business tactics basically to get us pushed out of there. Because they, they bought the building. Ah, okay. They bought the building that the tattoo shop was in. And um, we still had contracts to stay in there. Like we were still allowed to have our shop in there because we had like a lease or whatever. Yeah. But since they owned the lot and the yeah. building, yeah, they wanted you out. Yeah. They wanted us out, and then kick us out. <clears throat> so what they did was just park the entire lot 
with their trucks because uh, they're a car dealership, right, so they have right. unlimited trucks. Right. So they just parked the entire lot with their trucks and just covered the shop so we couldn't be seen from the street. Right. We stopped getting business. It, they just completely just pushed us out of there, man. Okay. It's pretty shady. And now I've gone back by there. They don't even use the building for anything. It's sure. just an empty building. Right. They don't even have cars parked out there or nothing. It's yeah. just empty, useless. Yeah, like yeah, they, yeah. They, they did it for nothing. So <laughs> when I was downstairs, they asked, why did you pick this shop? Because you were trying to find a, 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 like a woman to do the tattoo. Mm -hmm. And I was like, well, it wasn't necessarily a woman specifically, but I was more about giving the, the opportunity. And then I thought, it's like I said, like the universe wanted, I just let it, you know, one person was kind of interested, but flaked. And then in the end, right. it's like, you're the one who committed. And I was yeah. like, well, that's what the universe wants. Yeah, it's exactly. What they want you to do However you know, it works it. out, man. You can't say, I hope it works out when you're about to do it. Oh, no, no, no. That's how it worked out. Yeah, it's how, okay, it's how it it'll work. That'll work out. I'm saying that this is how it worked out. Yeah, that'll work out. Don't worry yeah, about that. Of course, of course. Um, I'm working that out myself. That'll sure. be fine. Yeah, but it's great. So it's, it's, it's interesting how your life led you to. So, so when, when you first. Well, you asked about traveling. Um, sure. after, after that shop shut down, I moved back to Florida for a little while. But at the shop in Florida, like Florida's very um, saturated with tattoo shops and everybody, every other tattoo shop is always doing like a $20 tattoo deal or just something ridiculous that like just undercuts everyone. Yeah. So like there's no good, there isn't really a good market for tattooing in South Florida, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. So when I went back down there after being here tattooing for like a year and a half, I just wasn't making any money at the shop. But mm -hmm. fortunately the shop I was working at uh, it's Chico's Mark for Life. They have um, they have a crew that travels all year long, basically doing tattoo conventions just in every city. We just travel along. Yeah. And I was lucky enough to ha to be given the opportunity to actually travel with them. They put me on like sort of provisionally at first. I was only supposed to do like two of the shows on their little tour that they were doing yeah. at the moment. And then something happened after the two shows that they were like, all right, well, just come back. I missed one of them, and then I had to come back for the rest of them, and I was on the rest of the tour after that and traveled for, like, two years tattooing. Right. And I was doing that up until... Uh, so I guess I moved to Savannah for the first time in 2016, and then I was here for about a year and a half, so probably, like, 2017, maybe, around there, like, mid-2017, or end of 2017, maybe about a year I was here, actually. So... I think in about 2017 is when I moved back to Florida and started traveling and I was doing that until about 2019 when, uh, when I was doing uh, some conventions and then I was going to come here for about a week and then to Virginia for about a week and that just so happened to be, I was doing a little bit of a tour at the end of 19 sure. and at the beginning of 20 I was at the end of the tour just right. traveling to different shops. This was one of them. I was only going to be here for about a week but that happened to be the week that COVID shut everything right, down. Right, right. So. I was like, okay, I guess I'll stay until this whole thing blows over. Because back in Miami, I lived with my grandmother who was old, okay. elderly. And they were saying, oh, this is the most dangerous right, for old people. Right, so right. I wasn't trying to go back down and stay in the house with my grandmother when they were sure. literally just saying, like, oh, this is the most dangerous for elderly yeah, people. So yeah, I was like, yeah, all right, yeah. I'll just stay here until this whole thing blows over. Fast forward three years later, I was like, yeah, it's, nothing's yeah. blown over. But I guess there's worse places to get stuck, you know what well, I mean? Well, it's... it's I, got, I, I got stuck somewhere where I have clientele, friends, it's a good tattoo industry around here. Awesome. So it went well, I can't complain, but it wasn't planned, you know? I was, I was only supposed to be here for a week and then go to Virginia for a week and now here I am three years later, but I'm not mad at it. Well, okay, so since you said I'm not mad, I'm gonna use that as the prompt to go to the next picture. Okay. Cool? Yeah. So is life really a gift? Really? Can you make every second count? That's the whole point of the podcast. So if you like what you've seen and you're inspired, because that really is my mission, then please give it a like, subscribe, and share. Shooting it raw? Yes. Shooting it.